Okay, so we're going to talk about how to diagnose an E46 M3 SMG issues. First thing you want to do is unlock the car. You should hear that priming noise. If you don't, you may have an issue with your relay. Next we'll go ahead and we'll take a look underneath the hood. Alright, so we will come over to inside this box. Once you get that fuse panel off, you will be looking at this right here. You'll take that out and just swap it out with a new one because they are fairly cheap and that is the easiest fix. Another thing you can do while you're already under here is look at this 40 amp fuse. If you take it out and it's blown, you probably have an issue with your pump. While I'm waiting for the computer to load up, I will go over some stuff that you need. So the next thing you'll be looking for to diagnose your SMG problem is you're going to need some software. You can buy a two, three hundred dollar scan tool that's specially made for these bean babies who want. I bought a twenty-five dollar kit. It came with this USB to OBD and it came with a CD and it all cost me twenty-five dollars. The CD has INPA software. You'll have to follow the instructions to set it up and you will have to have Windows XP to make it work properly. But for the most part, here's the main thing that I see. People who have pump issues from all the research that I've done usually have an indicator ahead of time. It's usually the car kicking out of gear. So that is a good sign that your pump is going out. But we'll also go through how to use the software a little bit. My situation was different. My car completely died all at once. It actually, the SMG light came on, the car started to shudder, the car was turned off, and the car never came back on. I'll show you a clip in a little bit of how to unplug the PLCD. It's like a little sensor underneath that connects to the slave cylinder, and you can get the car to fire that way. My issue turned out to be a clutch, and I really recommend that you exercise some common sense and kind of follow your gut instinct. Sorry for the cutscene. We'll go back to that in a second. First we're going to go ahead and plug this in. Red light will come on. You're going to need your car on a battery charger while you're doing this. This drains a lot of battery and your car will have to be in the on position while you're running the software. So now that I have this on, you'll see the battery's on, the ignition's on. So back to what I was saying. There was a pretty reputable shop. They convinced me that it was my pump. That's what they said it was. I wasn't going to spend that kind of money. So I took the car back home, thinking I was just going to swap it out with either use one or rebuild it. But I just had this intuition that it just wasn't the pump. Everything that anybody else ever had a pump issue was not my issue. So after tons of research, weeks later, it turned out it was my clutch my clutch completely grenade itself but I diagnosis through this software the only issue I was ever getting was error 59 on here error 59 is clutch actuation that was what it was telling me so at first I changed the slave cylinder and my other one was pretty torn up but that didn't fix the issue even though I rebled everything so finally I took it to a shop 2000 US dollars later and everything is fixed and running again. But this software will help you get you get you there to your diagnosis. So over here, we just go over to transmission, gearbox, it'll load you up, and it'll let you read the error memory. Go here. Of course nothing here is now, but I had error code 51 that kept popping up. And that turned out to be what my issue was. Like I said, go with your gut feeling. There's plenty of information on the forums. Um, it's just a lot to scroll through. But for mine, the car wasn't starting at all. I could unplug the PLCD sensor, and then the car would start again. Uh, it had a horrible squeak, like squeal, 
I'm assuming that was probably the throttle bearing, something like that, because everything under there had to be replaced online. Key indicators that are your pump are, of course, it kicking itself out of gear every so often, or if everything just stops all at once and you can't hear it prime on startup and you change the relay and it still doesn't start up, that's probably a key issue there. But this right here will save you a lot of time and help you at least narrow it down. So, hope this video helped. If you liked it or it helped you in any way, please like and subscribe. Thanks. Good luck with yours.